Do you know what's in your database? Do you know which columns are typically null? How many records are null in those columns? And maybe there's blanks, there's empty strings. Do you know the uniqueness of each column? Is this a column with maybe only two or three values? Or is it like an ID and every single value is unique? Now, sure, with databases, we can set up things like not null and add keys and put those restraints on the database, but you don't always have the opportunity to create it. Maybe you inherited it from whoever worked in that position before you. Maybe you're just pulling data from an API and you don't have control over this stuff. There's many different reasons why you wouldn't. And there's even some intentional ones. Maybe you allow nulls and that's just the way the web application is written. Well, it's a good idea to have a global understanding of what's going on in your database. You know, where are these nulls at? How big are the tables? How wide are the tables? A good idea to really understand that, in my opinion, because you can derive insights from it. So this right here is a little data quality overview. In this database, we have five schemas, 40, eight tables. There's something going on with this dashboard we're going to have to fix later on. And about 589 columns. This little parameter here tells us how many cells, meaning each combination of record and column, should be filled. So if we put it to 80%, you can see that in the sales schema, buying groups underscore archive does not have 80% of its cells filled. And down here we have the columns. So everything here is absolutely complete. Every single record in these columns has a value. This is what's missing in this case. This is what's null or blank. The size is based upon the number of cells. So the number of records times the number of columns. So right here, this warehouse.coldroomtemperatures.archive 3.6 million records, six columns, about 22 million cells. You can see it's 100% filled. This is essentially um, sort of the same thing as that first dashboard, but you can drill into it. So if I look in the application schema, there's 94.5% of the cells filled, 15 tables, 57 columns, 40,000 records. This is each table. And these are the columns that meet this threshold up here and the columns that don't. So I'm gonna click on a table and now I can see the columns down here. So this hash password, only 14% of those are there. So let's see if we can actually get some business value out of this. I'm gonna select a schema, maybe the application schema. And I've got all these different tables here. So I am looking, I want my data quality threshold to be pretty high. I'm going to put it um, maybe at 90%. Okay, so I expect 90% of the cells to be filled. So latest recorded population, that could actually be useful. So only 71% of the records have a value here. Now, maybe we wanted to calculate sales per capita or something. Well, we can't do that if we don't have the population, right? Some actual business value. Now, to get these dashboards and these scripts, you can head on over to my GitHub. So open the SQL data quality repository. I'll put a link to this in the description as well. And in here, you will find scripts for all the different systems and the Tableau dashboards I showed today. So right now, there's only SAP HANA and SQL Server, but down here at the bottom, I have a script status, and I'll update this as I write new scripts. I'll be making some additional videos showing you how to implement this for yourself. 
So stay on the lookout for those future videos. I hope you find this very useful and please let me know in the comments below.